Good evening, family. Hopefully, everybody's having a wonderfully blessed Saturday, wherever you're at in this beautiful world that we live in, or maybe having a uh, a beautiful morning or afternoon, right? We're all in different time frames uh, here in this world. This is your boy, Hyman G. We're about to dive into some Doge and some overall crypto market news. Now, guys, if you're new to my channel, that's what I talk about, right? I talk about Doge and overall crypto market news, right? So you come to my channel, Right, whether you're a subscriber or just stopping by as a viewer, I appreciate it. Maybe you can help me out with the YouTube algo, smash the likes, maybe hit the dislikes. If you don't like it, it's all good. Uh, hit that notification bell, guys, and turn it on to all so you can uh, be notified when I come through with developing breaking news. Now, guys, like I said, I like to keep you guys on par, uh, you know, with developing news, what's going on, whether it's with Doge or overall crypto markets, such as Dogecoin or Ethereum, you know, just what's going on in the crypto world, right? You guys come to my channel. And then you get informed with some some break developing and breaking news, right? You don't have to go do it yourself. Well, I mean, you can, right? Which is always good to always do your own research. But the point I'm making is, if you come to my channel, you get some news, right? All right, enough of that yip yap. And none of this is ever financial advice, guys. Just me sharing my thoughts, opinions, nothing more, nothing less. Now, if you guys are ready on this uh, Saturday evening to dive into the wild, wild west of crypto land, without further ado, let's get it, baby. All right, guys, Bitcoin is up 0.41%. We're sitting at 42000 with $41.84. Now, as you can see, guys, you know, at, at least Bitcoin's in the uh, green, right? Guys, that's that's a start. That's good, right? Because he's been in the red for the past uh, day or two. And granted, right, the uh, top 100 on CoinMarketCap, there's there's a handful of green, right? You have ICP, Chainlink, um, Rap Bitcoin that are uh, FTX token, right, that are in the green. But there's more... More red than green, right? Why? Because there is still plenty of fear, right, guys? The the fear index right now is at 10, right, which is pretty up there, right? So the sentiment and the momentum right now is there's a lot of uncertainty, doubt, and fear in the markets, guys. You know, like all the articles that are out there right now are just nothing but just negative negative sentiment, article after article. Me, personally, I believe that Bitcoin... Um, it's just consolidating, doing its thing, getting ready to break out. I don't think the bull run is over, right? But that's just my opinion. Who am I, right? But, all right, guys. Enough of Bitcoin. We'll dive into some Bitcoin news here in a minute. Let's dive into Dogecoin. We rank number 12, guys, still. Coin market cap. Um, we're down 2%. We're sitting at uh, 15 cents. Our 24-hour was 24-hour low was 14 cents. And our 24-hour high was uh, 0.1577, almost 16 cents, right, guys? Um, our volume... In the last 24 hours is 624.14 million. Now, guys, granted, in the last 24 hours, our volume is down 17.95% from what it was yesterday, right? So from yesterday till today, it is down 17.95%, right? Which is, you know, never a good thing. Our market cap is sitting at $20.28 billion. You know what I mean, guys? But it is the weekend. Uh, in the weekend, there's always less um trading volume and there's always a lot more volatility due to the volume trading volume being lower right all right enough of the stats now let's dive into the charts real quick and see what's going on all right so on the 20th guys right we started to uh, consolidate in a tight range between 0.168 right which is uh 16 cents and 0.176 cents right for about a week right so that's basically this area right here is what i'm talking about on the charts right um, the 0.168 area seemed to be a strong bottom for Doge, right? Um, then on the 27th, right, which is this day right here, right, we had broke support and have been in a downtrend ever since, right? And then this green candle here, right, that's today. Um, yeah, so we've been in a downtrend ever since, right? Uh, and we uh, had made support, which was this here as you can see right it was acting as a strong support we flipped the trend and we made it into resistance on the 27th when we dipped when we dipped below it right so as you can see on the chart right uh we briefly on this uh earlier today right here right we had um wicked below our support at 15 cents and we had hit 0.147 right earlier today uh, but thank god we bounced back we wicked back up right and support did what did its thing and acted as support. And we dipped back up. And now we're obviously, um, you know, at 15 cents. Now, did you guys know, right, since December 4th, guys, we have dipped below 15 cents three times, right? And each time we wicked up from that uh, level, right? 
which indicates that uh, the bulls obviously are buying the dip right in this area they constantly buy it up right so that shows that 15 cents guys is a very strong strong level of of support psychological right it's a very strong psychological level so that is a positive thing right and also the eight day ema right guys which is this red line here right <clears throat> excuse me um in the charts it's acting like a guide right and it's guiding doge lower right and the bulls need to regain this level right guys they need to relay this this red line here right um which is the eight day ema right and as you can see in the charts uh through all my scribble uh, scribbling right got, uh since basically this area right here um this ema the eight day ema has been kind of acting as a guide and as you can see we've been just basically riding below it okay so the key takeaway, right, guys, is support is coming in strong at 15 cents, right? It's proven to be a bottom for Doge at the moment. Now, resistance is at a point uh, 168, guys. That's 17 cents in my opinion, right? That was extremely, uh, it was an extremely, blah, extremely strong level of support, right? Prior to flipping the trend and making it into resistance, right? So it might prove to be a bit of a challenge temporarily for the bulls, right? Because uh, it was uh, 30 plus days, right? That uh, this 0.168 area was acting as a very, very strong level of uh, support, right? We tested it uh, on numerous occasions, as you can see right here from the 20th to the 27th, right? We tested it pretty much every day, right? And we bounced right off of it until the 27th and we dipped below it, right? So uh, we need uh, to, so guys, we need Bitcoin to obviously push up aggressively and we definitely need a lot more trading volume, right? These are two key factors that we, uh, we need to hopefully help push the price of Doge up, right? If we had Bitcoin move up aggressively and more trading volume, I, I truly believe in my opinion that Dogecoin would definitely uh, bump up, right? And hopefully break through this resistance at the 0.168 area and then continue to push up and eventually make new all-time highs, right? <laughs> but, all right, guys. Now, that's what I had as far as the charts go. Hopefully, um, uh, wasn't too confusing with all my scribble scrabble, right? All right. That's pretty much all I had for Doge, guys, right? It was pretty much just TA. Now, we're going to dive into some... Uh, Overall, uh, crypto market news, right? All right, let me get my articles here. Bear with me here. Okay, guys, so here we go. First things, uh, first article. Now, it says Bitcoin dips are for buying. Uh, Justin Sun, uh, Naive Book, uh, you know, Justin Sun is, right? He's the Tron, uh, CEO of Tron and, and BTT, uh, which is BitTorrent. Then you have uh, Naive Bukili, which is the president of El Salvador, and Michael Saylor, who is uh, from MicroStrategy, right? These uh, Michael Saylor is obviously a, a Bitcoin bull, and so is Naive, the president of El Salvador. Now it says uh, Mr. Wu has taken to Twitter to share that his ex his excellently excellency, Mr. Sun, uh, the excellent billionaire and tech entrepreneur behind Tron and BitTorrent, purchased 100 bitcoins today. Right? This is what he had to say. It says on January 18, said that he would buy another 100 bitcoins, and also that the president of El Salvador and the CEO of MicroStrategy, however, in December, Justin Sun was suspected of depositing 166,000 uh, Ethereum into Binance. Right? So. What I'm pointing out, guys, is obviously these three major bulls, our Bitcoin bulls, are buying the dip. Why? Because they obviously see, especially Michael Saylor, right, um, and and the president of Salvador, uh, they, they see the opportunity anytime um, Bitcoin dips, right? Because, guys, when in doubt, zoom out, right? A lot of people are tripping over the temporarily short-term price of Doge of Bitcoin or Dogecoin, whatever cryptocurrency you're holding, right? Right, and everybody starts freaking out. But if you're a long-term hodler such as myself, and that you just look at the charts and zoom out, man, and, and every Bitcoin's been going up, man, ever since it first fucking was made. You know what I mean? And in five years, ten years from now, you you know, if you're not invested, you're gonna wish you were because the price of Bitcoin is gonna be sky high. Dogecoin's gonna be at five, ten dollars, right? Wishful thinking, guys. But you get the point that I'm trying to make is that cryptocurrencies is gonna go up, and you're gonna wish that you invested. When I was telling you guys back here in 2022 and 20 or 2019, 2020, when I first made my video, started making my videos, right? Now, here we go. Now, it says third largest Bitcoin whale bought 551 Bitcoins, aimed fall. Now, guys, you have 
uh, this third whale bought 551 bitcoins. You had Justin's son, he bought 100 bitcoins. So a total of just two people, they bought 651 bitcoins, guys. Not 51 million, not 651 million dollars uh, worth, five or 651 uh, million bitcoins, right? Now it says over the last several days, the cryptocurrency market has taken a nosedive and Bitcoin's price has fallen 10% in a week to 41K. According to one prominent expert, Bitcoin may find a bottom between 37K and its current price. Now, uh, it says uh, nearly 200K people will follow on this post. Well-known crypto expert on Twitter, he released his research and forecast that Bitcoin's price would fall between 42K and 37.5. Okay, I'm not trying to get all that. Now it says the analysts is comparing. Okay, all right, guys. Okay, now Justin, third largest whale, buys... Uh, buys 551 uh million i'm all tongue-tied guys my apologies 551 bitcoins during the dip right now it says according to whale watcher the guru with the third largest bitcoin well 551 uh coins at 20 worth 24 million dollars right guys um and this is just like i was showing you the article before that right i'm pointing this stuff out guys it's because people are continuously buying the dip right institutions uh whales Justin Sun, Michael, Michael Saylor, all these people with big money, right, guys? They're trying to gobble them all up. Why? Because they know and they see, right, guys, that cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, or uh, whatever, it, it's going up. It's not going anywhere. Dogecoin ain't going nowhere. Bitcoin, Ethereum, it's not going nowhere, guys. I'm telling you, five years from now, you're going to wish you would have listened to me and, and, and invested it in into cryptocurrency. Remember, none of this is ever financial advice, though, right, guys? Okay, so here we go. Now, here's another positive article, right? Sorry. Thank you if you're still with me, man. Now, it says Bitcoin and Ethereum prime to rise to these levels in 2022, according to Bloomberg strategist Mike McClellan. Now, Bloomberg is basically, a, uh, you know, about stocks and commodities, so on and so forth, right? There's so many people now are interested in, in cryptocurrencies, right? It wasn't like that 34 years ago. A major adoption, guys, is, is moving at a speed at a tremendous fast speed you're either you're either gonna keep up or you're gonna get left behind right and that's part of why i made this channel now it says bloomberg senior commodity uh strategist thinks both uh bitcoin and ethereum are primed to surge in 2022 despite the crypto market's recent struggles why guys because they're looking at it in the long term that's what these institutions and hedge funds are doing right but the retail investors right that's why they consider us dumb money right because a lot of retailers guys want money quick fast in a hurry now 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 of course i do too right but i know it's going to take time it's going to take five to ten years for me to become hopefully that crypto millionaire that i'm striving to be for my family and give them financial freedom you know what i mean and that's what i want for you guys guys as well i'm hoping and praying that you guys We'll have financial freedom as well. Who doesn't want financial freedom, man? I don't want to work my uh forever. You know what I mean? Now it says in a new analyst, Mike McClone says that both Bitcoin and Ethereum have solid bases to build on. He predicts they will remain dominant among cryptos in 2022, with Bitcoin moving towards 100 k and Ethereum breaching 5K. McClone thinks Bitcoin is in a consolidating bull market. I do as well. And predicts the U.S. Federal Reserve uh, new policies will actually be beneficial for Bitcoin. A lot of people think... Uh, being that the uh, Federal, Federal Reserves is hawkish and going to uh, raise interest rates and so on and so forth. A lot of people think it's going to be bad, right? Because uh, Bitcoin just took a, you know, took a pretty nice dip when uh, the minutes, the uh, Fed's minutes were, were up on, uh, I think it was Thursday, whenever it was, Thursday or Friday, right? And, and the stock market, or Wednesday, I think it was, the stock market and Bitcoin basically took a dip right after, right? So people are kind of nervous about that, right? But I'm not. Now, it says uh, Federal Reserve officials have recently indicated that they plan to scale back asset purchases and raise interest rates next year in effort to fight inflation. Now, and that's what Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are, right, guys? They're a hedge against inflation. A lot of people say they, they're not, right? But it says expectations for Federal Reserve rate hikes in 2020 may support a win-win scenario for Bitcoin versus the stock market. A reason to take back liquidity in the is the fact that the S&P 500 is the most extended above its 60-month moving average in over two decades right so stretched mark stretched markets have become common but commodities and bitcoin appear to be early uh reversion leaders in questions of bull market duration and we see the benchmark crypto coming out ahead you know what i mean that's why bitcoin has become uh the best uh asset in the past three years right it has outperformed gold since 2018 guys right it outperformed crude oil uh s p 500 
so on and so forth, right? Uh, if you want more about that, check out my video from three days ago and I talk about that. But the point I'm trying to make out, guys, is here that obviously these hedge funds and institution uh, people believe in crypto. Not all of them, right? But a, a lot of them do. They believe and they believe that it's going to go up in time. Keyword in time, not in three months, six months, right? But that's the problem with retail investors, right? They're so concerned and, and focused on making gains immediately and then panic sell and become paper hands and end up selling at a loss you know what i mean and then, and then the institution hedge funds are laughing at us right hey, idiots you know what i mean anyways guys all right guys this is what your boy had for you on this saturday evening um hopefully it was inf informative helpful useful if it was please consider to like and hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell guys all right stay safe and stay blessed until tomorrow your boy Jaime g is out peace